We have been active in the field of uh, neurotechnology for more than 15 years now. We decided that we have experts here in the field of signal processing, in the field of hardware development, uh, biomedical engineering. Let's do something of our own and uh, develop a technology that is meaningful and impactful and, and a problem that is difficult to solve. We chose to help a paralyzed individual regain control of his own hand using signal recorded from within his brain. So the challenge there was, how do we do that? Um, how do we interpret the brain signal in real time? Uh, brain is sending out 3 million data points per second, right? You have to record it, decode it, and then use it to control a device that can enable you to control individual finger. That was challenging. What we have attempted to do has never been shown before. Um, developing technologies that are completely non-invasive, but can still enable a paralyzed person to regain fine motor control and play a game like Guitar Hero, that's remarkable. I mean, this is easily the most gratifying project that I work on at Patel. You know, we work on all sorts of different devices, and we know that eventually they get out to help patients, and I get to actually see my algorithms work with Ian. So we'll spend, you know, days and weeks and months working on these different algorithms, trying to help him be able to, uh, say, play a guitar video game or move a different set of objects around. And then we can actually go over and see him use them and ask him, how did it feel? Do you feel like you're more in control? Do you feel like you're moving a little bit faster? Do you feel like it was a little bit more responsive to you? And we get that immediate feedback, whether it's positive or negative. There are several projects that we are working in the field of neurotechnology. One such project is in the area of bioelectronic medicine, where we are developing technologies that can help us tap into the peripheral nerves of the body to modulate body's response and then use it to diagnose and treat conditions. The other area that we are looking into is the sensory motor rehab. Uh, more specifically stroke rehab, where we are developing technologies to help paralyzed stroke patients overcome their paralyzed muscles. We are also working on developing technologies to better diagnose traumatic brain injury. Mm -hmm.